So let's start with things that are related to the site. As far as hookups go, they do have 20, 30, 50 amp electric water and sewer, so you do have full hookups. The amenities at the site, you do have cable, you have Wi-Fi, the sites are paved. My site had a concrete pad, picnic table, and a fire pit. As far as the size of the site, my site was probably one of the smaller sites at this campground. I, I did book a little bit late, so I had to take what was available, but it was still enough room to comfortably move around and be able to park my tow vehicle. Upon walking around, I did see there was a lot of sites that had a little bit more room and were spaced out a little bit more than my site. As far as distance to your neighbor, so again, I was in a tighter area of the campground, but it was fine. From what I can see walking around, I did think that a lot of the sites had more than enough space for a campground as large as this one. Something I think that is really important at campgrounds is the way they align these sites. Unless you're part of a multiple unit convoy, I think most people don't want the camping side of their RV to be facing the camping side of their neighbor. So even if you do get one of the smaller spots at this campground, you're not looking at your neighbor's business the entire time. So let's move to items related to the actual campground itself. As far as amenity goes, there's a lot here. There's a camp store, there's an indoor pool. Uh, they have golf cart and paddle boat rentals. They have mini golf, there's an arcade, there's a gnome cafe. There, there's a couple other things going on here too. They have an, an ice cream shop as well. Unfortunately, we camped here during COVID, so we didn't get to experience a lot of this. Some of these uh, attractions were closed, but there is definitely a lot going on at the campground. You are allowed to bring pets. Uh, they do need to be leashed, but you can have them here at this campground. As far as the atmosphere at this campground, most of the sites are, are wooded. I mean, you are in the woods at this campground. Um, it's not just a tree here and there. You are literally in the woods. So even when you're in a smaller site that's close to your neighbor, you do have a lot of privacy and a lot of trees and shade. It's also not a party campground. It's pretty quiet at night. Um, there's some activities going on, but for the most part, it's a pretty relaxing atmosphere at, at night as well, too. Landscaping slash housekeeping. This place is gorgeous. Um, the grass is cut. Everything is trimmed. It's beautiful, well landscaped. It is a very pretty campground. As far as the staff, I had no problems with them. They were friendly, helpful. I didn't really have many questions. I kind of did my own thing didn't need them for anything but from what I can see they were uh, they were a pleasure to deal with finally some of my thoughts um, nearby attractions there's really not much here and that's one of the negatives about this campground uh, you are in Amish country so there's really not a lot of nightlife attractions amusement parks casinos whatever it may be that you like to do um, there's not a whole lot going on in the immediate area of this campground. The only real complaint I have about this campground is because they are renting golf carts and they do go through them pretty quickly, there, there can be at certain times a lot of traffic, um, golf cart traffic going through the campground. If you're one like me to take a nice casual walk through the campground, especially with pets, uh, you're going to find that it can get a little annoying with the amount of golf cart traffic, people just running around, um, not doing anything necessarily wrong, but it, it does get a little bit annoying. But overall, this is probably one of the nicest campgrounds you're ever going to visit. I would score this campground a nine out of 10. If it was closer to more attractions, um, amusement parks, restaurants, casinos, you know, more things to do without having to drive a half hour, 45 minutes away. Um, I would probably give it a 10 out of 10. But I definitely highly recommend staying at this campground and I know that I will be going back next year. Thanks for checking out my video, guys. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Please like and subscribe. It really helps the channel and I'll see you next time.